Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and you know what? I'm going to make a maple leaf cocktail in true Canadian fashion. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have everyone here back here. It is November. That means we're headed into winter and we're headed into hockey season. So you know what? I'm going to do the maple leaf cocktail that I saw on 62 Second Cocktails from our buddy Vino. And you know what, Vino? I'm gonna do this in proper Canadian style. Yes, that's right, proper Canadian style. You gotta get your hockey gear on, you gotta get your stick on the ice, or in this case, behind the bar, because you know what? We're gonna do this the right way. Now, 62 Second Cocktail is a fun little cocktail channel that just started up not that long ago. And his premise is he tries to make the cocktail in around 60 seconds. And you know what? Most of the time he's successful. Yes, he sacrifices a little bit of technique, but you know what? It's all in good fun and I enjoy it. So why don't you, uh, after this video, go take a look at this his, uh, channel and uh, give him a thumbs up and a little bit of love and maybe even give him a bit of a subscribe. And you know what, Rob from Rob's Home Bar? Let's Canadianize something. I wanna see you do this one even more Canadian style. Yeah, keep your stick on the ice, as Red Green used to say. So now, uh, I gotta do this cocktail with one hand, and I was always told that you should always have two hands on the stick, but for this, we're gonna do it one. First thing you need is your shaking glass. And what's really important here is that uh, it's clean, you know, because why not? So the first thing that we're gonna use is a little bit of bourbon. And here we're gonna use some Woodford Reverb. Woodford Reserve. You'd think I've been drinking, but I'm excited about hockey season. It's just that good. And yes, I'm a Toronto fan. So for all of you that are not Toronto fans, you know what? Too bad. We will eventually win another Stanley Cup. Yes, hell might freeze over first, but we are going to win that. So we need two ounces, which works out to 60 milliliters. And you know what's even better? This is my first time trying this and it smells great already. Oh yeah, look at this. A good Canadian will always sample his wares to make sure that what you're serving is right. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, it's got a little bit of pepper bite on the tongue, not too much, just right. The next thing we need is of course, and most importantly, Canadian maple syrup, because maple syrup is just lovely tree sap. And you know what? This is gonna be interesting. Uh, we need half an ounce of this. Half an ounce works out to 15 mils. Oh yeah. Oh, just look at that. Look at that. Sorry, get a little excited there in my uh, maple syrup. The next thing we need, of course, and I'm using the words of course way too much, is lemon juice. We need half an ounce of lemon juice. So for this, we're gonna grab our knife. I'm gonna have to put you down. Never mind, brute strength does it every single time and a sharp knife. Okay, yeah, I gotta put that down just for this. Take your half a lemon. Give her a bit of a squeeze. And half an ounce works out to 15 mils. Put that here. You need some ice now. And we're gonna shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Can he do this safely? Fuck it, no I can't. We're sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming. This is David from the future on the editing room floor. After reviewing the footage of what I just saw, I felt I should offer up this special PSA. Hockey gloves are not good for everything, especially mixing cocktails. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Thank you. All right, in true style, through the magic of TV, we're gonna do this again. Yay, fancy technique, see that? Okay. Do not spill yet again. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. 
All right, it's looking good. Smack it in the side of the boards as if you're hitting the uh, defenseman. And you know what? I'm gonna take this off for a moment because one of the things we need is cinnamon. Now you should stir this, but you know what? We're gonna give this a stir with a good old Canadian knife and we'll let that sit for a moment. While that is sitting in there, we are going to get our rocks glass. We're gonna add a little bit of ice. Look at that, look at absolutely spanking nice. Now we need to take this, transfer it into here, and we're just gonna use the, uh, the top and we're just gonna close up our gate like so. To, we're gonna attempt to close our gate. Here we go. Now you could honestly garnish this with some more cinnamon, like so. But you know what? Your garnish really should be your hockey stick because this is true Canadian fashion. Look at this, look at this. I'm gonna keep our stick on the ice here and make sure we don't high stick any of the bottles. All right, let's give this a look. Looks good, absolutely gorgeous. Smells good, you can get the cinnamon directly off of this. Ooh, that's good. The bourbon shines right through. It is just sweet enough and tart enough to, uh, to really accentuate the bourbon. Oh yeah. Hmm. You know, if you know, you picked a good cocktail, you're bringing out the true Canadian in me. If I was any more Canadian, I'd be outside in the snow, but I don't have enough snow right now. So when I have enough snow, I'll do a cocktail sitting in the snow just for you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And you know what? Keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> oh, huh. I'll be back in one moment.